I've got the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra right here. And today I'm going to show you how to boot this phone as well as the base Galaxy S21 and the bigger Galaxy S21 Plus both into recovery mode as well as out of recovery mode. Now Samsung has a history of changing the way we boot into these special boot modes from device to device. Typically this change only happened when they rearranged the hardware buttons as those hardware buttons typically were the way to get into either download mode or recovery mode. However, with the Samsung Galaxy S21, the company has changed how we boot into recovery mode, even though they haven't changed any of the, any, any of the hardware buttons. So when I first got the device, I tried to power it off and boot into recovery mode by holding the power and the volume up buttons. Now when I did this, it went to a long vibrate as I was continuing to hold these two buttons after the initial splash screen, but then it just booted into the Android operating system. However, after doing some digging, I have learned that, again, Samsung has changed the way we boot into recovery mode. Now, we are still going to be using the volume up and power button during the boot up cycle, and we still need to power off the device, but a change that Samsung has made, and I can imagine this is going to make a lot of people upset, is it requires you to connect the phone to the PC with a power cable. If we try to boot into recovery mode without first connecting it to the PC with a USB cable, I'm sorry, with a USB cable, then again, like I said, it's going to do that long vibrate and it's just going to boot you into the Android operating system. Now, Samsung could change this in a future update. Who knows? I tried multiple ways of just booting into recovery mode without connecting it to the PC. The only way I could get it to actually boot properly into recovery mode, again, power the device off, connect it to the PC with a USB cable. Once that's done, we can then press and hold the power and volume up buttons at the same time. And then we simply just continue holding those two buttons. We're going to get one vibrate when the splash screen appears. That's not the longer vibrate that happened before. And then as we continue holding those two buttons down, you saw it instantly switched over into recovery mode once that boot process was finished. Now, for those of you who are not aware, we are not able to navigate this menu through the touch screen. When we boot the Galaxy S21, the Galaxy S21 Plus, or the Galaxy S21 Ultra into recovery mode, you can see that the top options should be highlighted by default, the Reboot System Now option. And we can actually change which option is highlighted by pressing the volume up or the volume down buttons. Once we have selected an option that we want to choose, or once we have highlighted an option we want to choose, we just press the power button as the button to select that option. Now I'm not wanting to do a factory reset right now, so I'm just going to cancel back out, go into the main menu. But we can do a number of things here, such as booting over into bootloader mode, which is also known as download mode. We can install an over-the-air update over ADB or through the, in, the SD card, but it's actually just the internal storage. Again, we can do that factory data reset. We can wipe the entire cache partition, mount system, view some logs, run some tests, repair apps. Looks like a new option. I'll have to look into that later or we can simply just turn the device off completely. 
So once you're done with Android recovery mode and you want to boot back up into the Android operating system, we simply need to highlight the reboot system now option. And then when you're done, we can press the power button to select that option. And then simply going to start the boot process and at least attempt to boot into the Android operating system. If you are trying to boot into Android from, from recovery mode and you're noticing that the phone is rebooting back into recovery mode, it's known as a boot loop typically. And the most common way to fix that is to perform a factory data reset. So there you have it. That is how to boot the Samsung Galaxy S21 series both in to recovery mode as well as how to boot out of recovery mode.